For decades, many thought of Cardinal John Patrick Foley as the patriarch of the American Catholic press. He was a Catholic communicator who employed multiple communication platforms. He brought the news of the Catholic Church to the faithful in the United States. He helped us understand the Church. Cardinal Foley served as the assistant editor and Vatican correspondent for Philadelphia's Archdiocesan newspaper. He was the editor-in-chief there from 1970 until 1984. Cardinal Foley also co-produced and co-hosted Philadelphia Catholic Hour on WFIL Radio. He also served as president of the Pontifical Council for Social Communications. And those of us who had a chance to know him can attest to his sense of humor. His life continues to set a standard for Catholic journalists to follow. That's what the Cardinal John P. Foley Award recognizes. It is given to a person who demonstrates excellence and innovation in Catholic storytelling. That storytelling can take many forms, including video, podcasts, photography, and multimedia presentations. The Board of Directors received a number of nominations this year. And no kidding, they were all good. The winner of the 2020 Cardinal John P. Foley Award is Chaz Muth of Catholic News Service. His nomination reads as follows. In 2019, there are numerous examples of his work in photography, videography, animation, and multimedia storytelling. This past year, he developed several important series that combined solid news reporting with strong visual storytelling. One was a series on the seal of the confessional. Chaz used long-form videography, photography, and text-form writing to take a nuanced and balanced look at laws being introduced and a history of the often misunderstood sacrament. Chaz traveled across the country researching this story and produced a four-part series in print and seven companion videos outlining the issues. He also created one social media video and one comprehensive documentary video. He spoke with both critics and defenders and help to explain why it is an important issue for Catholics. Last year, he also did a three-part print series with companion videos on the history of the Catholic Film Office. Using historical footage and a wealth of on-camera interviews, he explained the issues that gave rise to the Legion of Decency and the Hays Code, the evolution of the office over the years, and where it stands today. His series brings to light a fascinating piece of U.S. Catholic cultural history. Taking his talents in a new direction, Chaz also created an animated short, which was the clever use of an easily approachable visual format to teach Catholics a bit of their own history, reminding them that how bishops are appointed now was not always the way it was done. Chaz embodies the great values of multimedia reporting, important stories told in video and print, providing timely information that both informs Catholics and serves the Church. Congratulations, my friend. You set a high bar for all of us. I cannot tell you what an honor this is to receive the Cardinal Foley Award. Anything with Cardinal Foley's name on it is more than an honor, and it's incredibly humbling. He was a giant in the Catholic press, and wow, what, a, what an incredible innovator in everything that he touched. I really want to thank the Catholic Press Association for bestowing this honor on me, and especially considering all of the other incredible candidates that were up here for it this year. And I got to say, thank you to everyone in Catholic media. I've been a journalist for a very long time, and you know, when I joined the Catholic Press, well, I guess it's probably close to 15 years ago. I got a whole new home here, and that is, I tell people this all the time, and that is, you know, there are lots of stories that you do cover, and there are a lot of things that aren't always so happy to cover, but for the most part in the Catholic press, I get to cover the best that humanity has to offer, and I'm really grateful to that. I'm very humbled by this award. Thank you again.